We do begin with a New Haven basketball coach accused of sexually assaulting a 17 year old student. The coach was with the team yesterday when he was arrested in the parking lot of Red Roof Inn off of 11 Mile into Quinder and Warren. And that's exactly where we find 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie. And Ali, what exactly are police telling you? Well, Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer tells me that two police officers were patrolling behind me in this Red Roof Inn parking lot when they saw a car with the coach and the 17 year old victim inside engaging in inappropriate sexual activity. It's very shocking and scary. 16 year old Danasia Knight goes to New Haven High School. She and her mother, like others, are finding out 43 year old Latuan Turner, the girls varsity basketball coach, is accused of having an inappropriate sexual relationship with a student. It's scary. It's so scary. Like I can't even bring the words to even explain it. It was around 4 p.m. yesterday that Turner was arrested at this Red Roof Inn in Warren. Police say since then they have executed several search warrants. They are investigating to see when this inappropriate relationship first started. Investigators believe the victim met with Turner on more than one occasion and that there might be more victims. I feel like it's um, a violation of their innocence. You know, they're scraping at that vulnerability that they have as kids. This afternoon, the superintendent of New Haven High School sent an email out to parents, letting parents know Turner has been placed on leave, stating in part, this will be a difficult time for many students and staff, but we are committed to providing additional support as long as it is needed. It is also important that we respect the privacy of the families that are directly affected at this time. The email also says extra counselors will be on hand throughout the week. As long as they're taking precautionary measures, you know, to handle the situation and to be there for other students that may be going through something like this or who are experiencing maybe not be, being able to speak up, you know. Commissioner Dwyer says he will recommend that Macomb County prosecutors charge Turner with several counts of criminal sexual conduct and says that he could be arraigned as early as tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in Warren Alley Hoxie, 7 Action News.